And then also you have the uh, facilitate to motivate as well. Uh, can you kind of share a little bit about that? Absolutely. So I am a woman of man, many, many hats. <laughs> uh, and the pandemic has made that even easier. <laughs> um, but so, yeah, Facilitate to Motivate actually started in um, a time of, what's the word I want? Um, controversy, if you will. I was furloughed at the time. So furloughed, for those that don't know, means you're not working. Um, and I wasn't working for like eight weeks. And yeah. so, you know, not getting a check for eight weeks makes you get real creative real quick. Um, so, you know, um, just, I had had these ideas. So like, I love working with kids. That's, you know, I love getting kids excited about science, but another big passion of mine is like helping professionals elevate themselves. Right. So it's great that you got the, the degree, but then what do you do? Right. Are you, are you, especially like, um, you know, people, again, I, I, my, 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 my jam is black and brown people. I want to make sure that we're doing well. And, um, you know, a lot of times what I was seeing in the different roles that I had was that we would get the degree and then almost in some certain certain situations become complacent and some certain situations become overlooked and some certain situations feel undervalued and some certain situations um, just not working to our fullest potential. And so just talking with some of my colleagues um, about some of the ideas that we had in our head of how we could just help our people do better. Um, from that facilitate to motivate was born it was literally like you know and we were literally in the trenches right at that moment all three of the you know our founders we were not working none of us we had zero check coming in and we're like well, wait how can we uh use our skill set to 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 motivate others right and so that's literally where facilitate to motivate came from and so our mission is really to work with millennials and specifically women women of color to help them to achieve success on their their own terms and so what we really work on is providing uh, professional development trainings, coaching, and just other opportunities to help elevate you to the next level. And the next level may be different for every single person. So some people may be looking at just completing a degree. Some people may be looking at, okay, I have my entry level job. How do I get to that leadership position? Some people may be like, okay, I want to leave my job completely. How do I pivot? And so um, what we do is we have combined our, our expertise in science and technology, as well as social and emotional learning to help people be poised for success. And so we do um, coaching where we help to uncover kind of some of the, those hurdles that people need to uncover and then provide these, you know, help game plan to go from this point to that point. How do I, you know, get from this vision that I have for myself? How do I get there? Like I know where I ultimately see myself going, but a lot of people get caught in the weeds. And so we help to kind of clear out those weeds and help people get to that, you know, that next step. Yeah. And that's for like any kind of path that you may want to choose, not just for one specific field, right? Right. Yeah. So what we do, so then what's interesting is that a lot of the topics, so yes, um, two of my, uh, two of my, two out of the three of us are scientists. However, the topics that we cover are are not science specific. So um, the idea of being you know strong in your soft skills, your ability to communicate with people, your ability to have um, you know emotional awareness, your ability to connect with people and make those collaborations and network and negotiate those types of things that transcends whatever whatever um, discipline that you're in. But be, I would be you know remiss to say that do we is the bulk of our clientele scientists? Yeah. But are all the things that we are talking about um, transition, you know, uh, they could be uh, transcend to any discipline? Absolutely. So we work with um, a lot of different, we work with organizations and individuals to either A, help train staff in empowering them to be more um, empowered to actually go after the things that they want and or working with individuals to say, hey, okay, you're feeling stuck right now. How can we get you unstuck? and work with you and uncover, again, what behavior you kind of need to start, stop, or continue doing to get to where you want to go. 